The team stormed the Tabosri forest enclave and caught these Chinese miners by surprise. They have invaded the forest, destroying natural resources spanning about 10 football fields. It looks like there is no end to this illegal mining craze. Now, deep within the Tabosre forest enclave, you could see over 10 excavators within this forest, destroying it with impunity. The Oda River, which runs through this forest, has turned milky mud with no sign of life. The thick forest cover has been depleted with scenes of tree species cut and buried in mud. Commander, do any problem? Yeah, yeah. I really, I I really have one, one of the commanders loses balance as we thread dangerous routes, the only link between these illegal mining sites. <laughs> The team lent many of the miners destroying this forest have no permits. So far, nobody has been able to show us any legal documents binding their operations here. One of them is Alaji Isa Odati, who had physical confrontation with the tax force. He claims the concession was awarded to him by the Minerals Commission but has no documents to prove. Site we are a mineral commission. This site was given to us by the Minerals Commission. I'm into small scale mining. We are not given any documents. Concessions are given to miners. Every month we pay twenty thousand. We pay twenty thousand Ghana cities every month. It's part of the community mining regime. At this site, where we found close to 12 excavators, the supervisor, one Umar, said they were mining with permission from some powerful people. Later, a man who identified himself as Charles Ousu, a relative of the late Sir John, claimed ownership of the illegal mining site, begging the team to leave the site. The tax force removed all the excavators and transported them across the Oda River. In all, 10 excavators were effectively tracked out of the forest. Seven Chinese miners were arrested and transported to Accra for prosecution. The environment here is begging to be saved. These trees you see behind me, some have been standing for hundreds of years, will be no more if no action is taken. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Tabusri, Western Region.